Hey what is going on you guys it's Epic here and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to get the most XP for your vault card if you're doing farming runs or whatever it may be to grind out for your rewards to get your chest to open so you can get all your keys and all the diamond keys you need. Before the video starts though I just want to throw a big shout out to BZK25. Me and him were up all night literally just grinding out testing every single boss in the game to find out what is the undisputed best method of farming for this XP. We tested literally every single boss in the game and I believe we have found undoubtedly the best and most efficient method of gaining XP. So first things first what you're going to want to do is head to Sanctuary and go straight to Tannis's lab and I'm sure you know where I'm going with this. We're going to be going to the Borderlands Science Machine and we're going to pick up the XP booster. So yes, this does have a lot of prerequisites, but trust me, it is so, so worth it. You will need to play Borderlands Science to get a bunch of coins for it. Go to buy booster and grab the brain nano bots. It's going to last two hours and it will grant you 25% more XP from combat. Also, I should say before we continue that for this method, in order to get the most XP possible, you will need to be on TVHM Mayhem Zero. This is because for some reason within the game, being on Mayhem mode will actually never grant you more XP than what TVHM does. I believe it's a bug and I don't know when it's going to get fixed, but believe me, you want to be on TVHM with Mayhem turn off for the most amount of XP possible. Something else you're going to need to do is come to the guts of Carnivora because there is a certain artifact we're going to be farming to make sure that we are getting the most XP out of our kills no matter what we're doing. And this is pretty self-explanatory, no need to follow where I go in the video, just keep progressing through because we're going to be farming a boss called the Tink Train. So once you reach the top kind of sidewalk area of Guts of Carnivora, there's going to be a new use station and then all you do is drop down, you'll have the Tink Train in front of you, this is who we're going to be farming because we want it to drop a very particular item and that in this case he did not drop but I'll show you it is the Moxie's Endowment. The reason why we want the Moxie's Endowment is because this thing will drop you a guaranteed 12% extra combat XP from anything you kill but there is also another condition you're going to have to meet before you do this farm in order to get the most XP. You want to make sure that you roll the Moxie's Endowment artifact with the 10% experience gain from combat passive roll. I don't know if there's anything higher than this. I'm pretty sure this is the highest amount you can pull on a passive but if you can get more do let me know and if you put that together with the brain nanobots that's going to pull out at 47 percent extra xp from any enemy you kill and now you're probably wondering what is the best method of farming to get xp for your vault cards and i wish i could give you a more unique answer here but i just can't the answer is simply the ruiner in crater's edge myself and bzk tested literally every other boss in the game and i'm telling you there is no boss that cuts close to the Ruiner in terms of how fast it is to kill, how much Iridium it drops, and how much XP it drops. The Ruiner caps out at a whopping 2,360 XP per kill, making it undoubtedly the most rewarding boss to farm back to back to back. And just to show you how helpful this is, I will kill the Ruiner right here, and he's very easy to kill because I'm on TVHM, and you'll see that just by killing the Ruiner, I got 2,000 360 xp and just for comparison i'm gonna take off the moxie's endowment artifact right here just to show you guys how much of a difference it really does make because without the moxie's endowment if i kill ruiner i'm only going to get 2011 xp so definitely make sure you're running this thing it is 100 necessary if you want to get the most out of your farming runs and also do be sure that mayhem is turned off and you are on tvhm why do we want to be on TVHM? Well, that means all the bosses are going to scale to you even if you are not on Mayhem. However, if you want, you can put it to Mayhem 1 if you don't have TVHM completed. So on Mayhem 1, the Ruiner grants only 2,146 XP. So not a big difference, but if you want to get the most out of it, you do want Mayhem turned off. Now, for those of you who are going to say Grave Ward is the quicker method for doing this, that's actually not true, and I'm going to tell you why. And there's actually two reasons for this. The first one being that Grave Ward just does not drop the same amount of XP that the Ruiner does, and it does not drop as much Iridium. Too. However, I will say if you are on console, Grave Ward is going to be faster for you since it is a smaller map to load in. 
So that's pretty much it. That's how you can farm your vault cards, I would say, the fastest way. I, I don't think there is a faster method that exists. However, I will show you guys one that myself and PCK did find, and it is really, really good. However, the reason why I didn't want to make it the main focus of the video is because it is very situational and requires a lot of setup to get right. So in order to do this method, you'll need the exact same setup, but you're going to travel to Ambermire Rogue's Hollow, go into the Rogue's base when you spawn and you're going to jump out of this window down to the right and when you land you just want to run straight ahead through this little underpass here over to the new U station to catch the save. And now every time you spawn in, there's going to be a specific route you're going to want to take in order to get the most XP possible. So as soon as you spawn in, run forward and take a left because we're going to be going to the cave where the Psycho Billies are. I've got a complex route and I'm just going to fire it into the cave. And on Mayhem Zero and TVHM, with the endowment, you see I got 2,240 XP. And now I'm going to run back past the new U up to where the unstoppable is. And when I get over here, I'm just going to spam again my route. And it's going to kill all of the enemies in the area, granting me up to six to 700 XP. Which means in total, I just scored pretty much 3,000 XP in around 15 to 20 seconds. But again, the reason why I did not feature this one as the primary method is because one it is not as fast as doing ruiner and two it does require a lot of setup in order to do efficiently so it may not be for everyone but i will say if you do want to try your hand at getting good rng on your spawns to get bad asses for more xp you can come out of here with sometimes up to 4,000 if you're lucky so again now that we're loaded in i'm just gonna straight away run forward take a left and go over to where the psycho billies are fire a root shot in there turn around i can see that i got the full pretty much 2200 xp and at this point i'm just running over to where the unstoppable is go up the stairs here and as soon as i get in here i'm spamming my route to get as much of the xp as i can i got around 439 there and then i just save quit and repeat so it's still a very fast method it's just up to you guys to choose which one you'd prefer to do but if you don't have the right setup and you just want a simple farm the ruiner is definitely going to be your go-to in order to get the most xp for your vault card now if you know of any better ways to get xp for the vault card please let me know tag me on twitter at epic ng and if i use it in a video i'll be sure to credit you but with all that being said guys that's going to do it for this video thank you again to bzk for helping me test this and helping find the best method definitely go and check him out and show him some support and on that note thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one